friends, it's Celeste. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're doing something very special. We're going to be making these amazing little chocolate truffles. I got the recipe from this channel called Cooking Tree. If you're interested in more of their videos, I'll put their link in the description box below. I was kind of bored today and it's quarantine. There's nothing awesome going on. So, I figured why don't we just make something just for kicks. As I've mentioned in a previous video, my very first one, by the way, which you all should go check if you haven't seen it already, this is gonna be a hybrid channel of both creative art making and vlogging as well. Today, we're baking, cooking, I don't even know what to call it really because there's no baking involved, just chilling in the fridge. We'll call it chilling, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> we're making something with our hands, so it's somewhere in that category. <laughs> so, let's see how this goes. We're gonna just head down to the kitchen and get right into it. Also, kind of low-key flexing on my tree back there. It's a pretty sick tree. It's well lit. I'm gonna turn this off now. So first you guys are going to need a bowl, a sifter and whisk, a paper lined pan or container, and of course you're going to need your cocoa powder and condensed milk. We're first going to pour an entire 14 ounce can of condensed milk into the bowl. I'm making a slightly bigger batch than what the recipe called for, but I just have a big family and wanted to make sure I had enough for everyone. I kind of did this next part a little backwards, but you're really supposed to put the condensed milk for about 30 seconds in the microwave before putting cocoa powder into it. But I don't think what I did made too much of a difference. At this point, I added roughly a full cup to about a cup and a half of cocoa powder. Uh, in all honesty, I gave up measuring here and started eyeballing instead. By the very end of this video, however, I will have used about one and a half cups to two. And you'll see why I had to resort to using that much in a few. <laughs> So after the chocolate has been chilled for a bit, I took it out and placed it on top of some freshly sifted cocoa powder. Now this is where things just start going south. <laughs> If you're an idiot with these kinds of things like myself, next time make sure you line the pan with powder or something that doesn't cause the chocolate to stick to the paper like this. But adding cocoa powder really did save this part, I think. So if this happens to you, don't panic. It'll work out just fine in the end. At this point, I wasn't sure if my kitchen was just too hot or that the chocolate had not chilled for enough time. Soon enough, I figured out that the mixture just wasn't strong enough to begin with. So, in order to salvage this batch, I had to add even more cocoa powder and really mix hard. I eventually got to the point where I had to knead the chocolate into sort of a puck and then chill it in the freezer for a solid hour or so. But here we are again, dusting yet again another bed of cocoa powder onto some parchment paper. Now, this piece of chocolate was significantly better and it was able to hold its shape quite well throughout the cutting process. Mm -hmm. 
And now we're just shaping these little guys into more of a rounded cube shape to get more of that truffle appearance. And before we finish, we're just gonna do one more final dusting of cocoa powder for more of a cleaner, elegant look. And voila, we're finally done. I also wanted to quickly show you guys what the cross section looks like. So, as you can see, we finally finished, thank goodness. It's dark out as well, which is unfortunate, as you can probably tell that it's taken forever to make these. A little longer than I hoped, but it got the job done, so I'm glad about that. But now, I'm just gonna have a little taste, see what it tastes like. Here we go. Wow, that is so good. That tastes like legit truffle, my goodness. Had a very creamy consistency, and uh, yeah, I thought that the chocolate powder might be a little overpowering, but actually it's quite the contrary. It complements it really nicely, so I suggest you guys give it a try. Came out great, better than anticipated. A few rough bumps along the way, but overall pretty good. So this is all I got for you guys today. Thank you so, so much for watching. Click that like button and subscribe down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Toodaloo!